welcome to Simply Southern. I'm Mary Wilson. And I'm Kevin Worthington. It may be called Big Dog Ranch Rescue, but all dogs, big, small, and everything in between get a new lease on life under the care of this shelter's dedicated staff. Today on Simply Southern, we're visiting one of the largest rescues in the United States. Don't let the name fool you, Marty Stushak has everything from burgers to ice cream, but their signature dish is the goat stew they serve every Saturday. And Marty Thompson sees his place as more than a restaurant. It's the way he serves his community. And I'm Stacy Little. Today in the kitchen, we're making my grandmother's recipe for a breakfast favorite, blueberry muffins. Y'all stay tuned. When DeMar Hamlin of the Buffalo Bills collapsed during an NFL game against the Cincinnati Bengals, the world watched first responders keep him alive by performing CPR. That incident happened in early January, but the previous October, a healthy Alabama farmer collapsed inside a tractor dealership. There was no stadium full of fans, no millions of viewers watching on their TVs, but the result was the same. CPR saved a life. At Dixie Sod Farm, the sod farm is not very photogenic this time of year. Winter means maintenance. With locations in Pell City and Talladega, plus 100 cattle, third generation farmer Matt Smith stays busy. I spend a lot of my days alone, and uh, or a lot of my days in a situation where medical help would be tough to get to me. Thankfully, Matt was not alone on October 19th, 2022. He was at Trigreen, a John Deere dealership in Oxford, picking up parts and debating stocking up on mower blades. Well, I got, I got the parts that I ordered and uh, I was leaving. And uh, when I left here, I just something just told me to go back in and get the, get the blades. I'd probably been in the store 30 seconds and uh, I remember getting lightheaded and I don't remember anything else. I left my office, ran up, and when I made it to behind the counter, Matt was already, he had already passed out and was on the floor. That's when Justin's previous law enforcement training took over. One of our other parts associates picked the phone up, uh, called 911. First thing I did was, you know, check for check for a pulse, uh, breathing, that type of stuff, and then nothing was there. We started compressions right away. From the time we started actual CPR on Matt until uh, the law enforcement came in, it was probably four or five minutes, which seemed like a lifetime. Justin's next step called Matt's wife, Whitney. All I remember is several times I asked, is he alive, is he breathing, and he told me the medics were doing everything they could, which was terrifying. Within minutes, Matt was headed for RMC Hospital in an ambulance, followed by Justin. I wanted to make sure everything was okay, make sure everything was good with Whitney when she arrived. I thought that they were fixing to give me bad news, and they told me that Matt was stable and um, that I could see him once I calmed myself down some. All the tests showed that there was no heart attack. I didn't have any blockages or anything like that. And, uh, you know, I had just gone into a V-fib, and that had caused sudden cardiac arrest. And the doctors, they told me how fortunate I was that most people that experience that don't wake up from it. Fortunate enough to walk back into the Trigreen store just two weeks later. I won't ever pass up an opportunity to come here and give him a hug, because we will forever be grateful to him. And we're so thankful that God used him to save Matt's life that day. We're obviously a lot closer now than we were. When somebody saves your life, it kind of uh, changes the relationship a little. I think the, that, that the good Lord just put me in the right place, kept me um, in the, the mindset to, to act and to, and to do what needed to be done. My wife says that we're buying John Deere from now on. She says that we are John Deere people now. So that sounds like a green light to buy some green equipment. Justin, Matt, and Whitney. Friendships forever cemented, thanks to a prompting to make an extra purchase. I, I guess you could say that, that that's what God used to, to get me back in the store, is these blades right here that I didn't really need. I guess I did need them after all, more than I thought I did. It's really miraculous that Matt was where he was that day. Now, Matt has a law enforcement background too, and he stressed to us, even though training is important, it was Justin's fortitude and wherewithal to actually perform CPR that saved Matt's life. Because CPR is not a pleasant experience. And you can't perform it without proper training. Justin and Matt both are planning to have their employees trained in CPR. Now that Matt's recovered, he says he's found a new hobby that he didn't expect to enjoy. He's helping his two sons raise calves for livestock shows. Very fun. 
If dogs could give reviews, those at Big Dog Ranch Rescue would definitely give it two paws up. When Simply Southern returns, get ready to see lots of wagging tails. Umbrella insurance coverage can save what you've worked hard to build. It's additional liability protection beyond the limits of your other insurance policies for situations when your regular insurance may not be enough. Umbrella insurance policies can provide additional liability protection for your home, car, watercraft, or ATV. Make sure you've got the extra protection you need for all your assets. Visit alphainsurance.com to learn more. These Alpha Insights are proudly presented by Alpha Insurance. Alabama is a state filled with riches, like the juiciest peaches, a summer tomato sandwich, or grandma's pecan pie. But perhaps our greatest treasures are the hands that grow. From generations past through the years to come, Alabama fruit and vegetable growers produce an abundance we all enjoy. Alabama produce, it just tastes better. A farmer has to live on faith. We do all we can do, but we can only control so much. Alabama is the second largest poultry growing state in the nation, so we're trying our best to grow all the corn we can for that. What we produce not only feeds and clothes all of the United States, but about half of what we make goes onto the world market. We've been able to improve yields, have some things that, that can help us produce a better crop. I'm proud of the product we make and proud that I can say I'm an Alabama farmer. When you look around for information and answers to your everyday questions, how do you know who to trust? Alabama Extension takes Auburn and Alabama A&M universities to the people. As educators, we are trusted partners in every county, providing valuable and practical ways to better our homes, farms, health, and communities. Our research extends knowledge and improves lives. Learn more at aces.edu.